Welcome to We Still Like Sports, presented by the Short Desk Podcast, and that's all this. All shit. Also, what the hell was that? <laughs> this will be Cup of Time. Cup of Time. YouTube show. Yeah, I had a little buckwheat moment there. It's all right. So it was a reserve for me. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? This is Dwayne here. He is still from the Isles that I don't know if they have kittens there or not, but it sounds like it. Uh Oh, say okay. I'm slow today, y'all. You know, I just woke up from a nap. And Steph. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. From what about me? The Carolina that isn't north. The confused Carolinas. No, south. sir. Big time. Where he loves to go at his hometown and see the space shuttles go off. And me. From the city where one of the colleges do not like black quarterbacks, but that's where they get all their championships from. Mm. Uh, wow. That's fact. <laughs> two, two out of three. Two out of three, baby. Charlie and Jameson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bobby get them say, what that boy doing up underneath that that that, center? that quarterback? Put him over there on that line and line up. Catch that ball and run that I ball. Cannot. I don't know if you God. did that on purpose, but that leads you right into the Super Bowl. We got two, <laughs> we got two black quarterbacks go to the Super Bowl. But let's go back and, Steph, your Eagles are going to the, the Super Bowl. Talk to me. I mean, I really Ready am. Ill. Can you let her get it out at least? Let her have a moment first. I didn't say anything. Did yeah, I heard you. I heard. Oh, go ahead, Steph. I, I was talking to myself. I'm sorry. Jeez. She almost looks frozen. <laughs> Steph, please enjoy your time. This is your time. We're going to let you get your. Get, he get it annoys off. my whole soul. Why do you want my team to lose so bad? I'm not trying to break your soul. Like Beyonce soul last week with not getting album of the year. So that from a mile away. We're ready, Steph, for your breakdown. No, you're going to stop coming for Beyonce. You're, I you're haven't said stop. anything. I haven't Leave said her anything. alone. She didn't even know she was at the Grammys. She <laughs> I'm starting not, to see spaceships. She was not oh, thank you. <laughs> Beyonce was geeked out. <laughs> Scott is calling me. She was in a zone. I got to see my doctor. <laughs> Scott is me. I wanna fly morning, noon, and night. He said, "I'm starting to see some <laughs> Listen, I got a head cold. I'm on some medication. So I'm are you little... done? Are you I'm done? Like, I'm done. I'm gonna mute my bike. Go ahead, no, you're not. I, I promise you, I'm muting so, it right now. <laughs> for me. Like, when we played in the Super Bowl in 2006, when we played against the Patriots the first time, I said we were going to lose that game. And we Mm -hmm. did. I said it, like, immediately. Like, oh, we're not going to win that. When we played against the Patriots this last that last Super Bowl five years ago, I said it. I was like, we're going to win this one. And people told me I was crazy because, you know, there was Nick Foles. And it was just a lot of stuff. Like, I have a strong gut feeling about Sunday. Jalen Hurts is going to pull off the okie doke against half. mm, I don't think it'll be okie doke. Patrick Mahomes. I don't think it'll be okie doke. But go ahead. Why don't you think it's going to be the okie doke? Because I think they're going to win outright. I don't, I don't, I think they're the better team. I think, I think they're the better team. Hold on, hold on. Don't say nothing, Ronald. Go ahead, um, Dwayne. Because he was about to. Okay, so they got the better. They got the better defense. They got the better offensive weaponry. Um, The only thing I see the Eagles not having better than them is the quarterback. If they win, Mahomes is better than Jalen, but we're not. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm telling you, I want the Eagles to win, and I think they're going to win. I think they're, like I said, I think they're the better team. I don't think they have the better coach either, but I think, I just think the the Chiefs are not complete enough to beat the Eagles right now. If Mahomes, if they win, it's going to be hard because Mahomes played miraculous. I think it's, it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a tight game though, Dwayne. 
I think so too. And I think it's going to be high scoring. But I also think your defense is going to do more to stop Mahomes than their defense is going to do to stop Jalen and the offense. I that's what that's I think is going to happen. The offense is going to carry the day. Your defense is going to make a few more plays than their defense will. And I think Jalen's going to win. And I want Jalen to win too. I do too. Of because of, but of how far he's come. And let, I don't let me say I, this. I, I, I also, too, I don't want our last show with you to be terrible because you're going to be pissed off and but upset. His, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I won't. Here's the thing. Even if Jalen Hurts was not playing for my team, if he was uh-huh. playing for another, except for the Cowboys, I would still be rooting for Jalen to win. And I say this because, yes, I would, Keith, stop, stop. Because I rooted for other black quarterbacks on other teams that were not mine, except for Dakota Rain and Patrick. Mm. Rain, Whoa. Dakota, however you say his name. But I've, I've rooted for Cam Newton when he didn't play for my team. I rooted for Michael Vick even before and after he played for my team. We all do it. We all do it. Maybe yeah. We might not think we're not doing it or we don't right. do it out loud, but I think we all do it. I understand mm-hmm. what you're saying. He he just wants to be combative and argue with me and, and get me to fuss. I'm not falling for it today. Well, J- John, what's your thoughts on the game, the, the old Super Bowl here? <clears throat> I think it's going to be close, and I think the Philadelphia Eagles have the more complete team. Um, they, can, they both actually scored identical amounts of points uh, mm-hmm. this season. Yeah, I think they even uh, tied for the amount of touchdowns were scored. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they they as far as offense is because they're identical mm-hmm. statistically. Uh, the only edge I would give to either one would be the defense because I think they are structured to win a championship with that Philadelphia Eagles defense, especially on all three levels, right of the f- defensive side of the football. I think they have the, I believe they have the better defensive line, a better linebacking core and better secondary. And um, <clears throat> they should be able it, it, well, if somebody can figure out some way to put a lock on um, Kelsey. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, then that offense will crumble. You'll have to see Mahomes scramble for his life to find someone to get open. Cause right. Kelsey is the tone setter. And, and and his ankle is probably still – it's better than it was last game, but it's still not 100%. Yeah, but he'll, he'll probably be juiced up down Shoot there. Thing up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, but I I think it's going to be a close game. It's <laughs> really going to come down to what defense can keep Ben but not break. Right, right. I think the Eagles do that. All right. Sir hates a lot. Um, what do you he, think? He wore that shirt on purpose too. Don't you like Andy Reid still? <laughs> Listen, I will forever love Andy, but stop playing with me. <laughs> He's the only person to bring a <clears throat> championship to your city, and it will continue That's, after Sunday. No, 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 no. Nah, Andy you got didn't read. Stuff. Andy did not bring a championship to my city. Doug Peterson did. Oh, I thought it was Reed. Doesn't no, matter. sir. Not, Get it correct. Not see they another they one. let him go because they said he couldn't win the big one. Yeah, but that wasn't his fault. That was Donovan McNabb's fault, and I hate that Andy took the fall for it. Not yeah. going to matter after Sunday. Mute him again. Mute. Mr. Mahomes is going to be be smoking on that jail of nerds. <laughs> 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 now, now, smoking on that Jalen. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Listen, the Eagles have a better team defensively. Um, I think the only issue, and John brought this up, is Travis. Like, if no one could get a handle on him, and it just seems like he's this unsolvable mystery that no mm-hmm. one can stop. Right. Which if he is. you can't get a handle on him. And I'm not really too concerned with Mahomes scrambling because that seems to be when he does his best work. You actually don't really want him sc- scrambling. Um I don't know. It's gonna be a very close game. I, I will say this. It's gonna I think it's gonna be a close game. Okay. I think that the Eagles have the potential to win, but 
on the flip side of that, it comes down to coaching and Travis. Like, can Andy Reid can Andy Reid be out coached in a game like this by a guy he once employed? Because think, you know, Nick was employed by the Chiefs at one point. Mm-hmm. You know, Andy was head coach of the Eagles. Like, they it's it's right. crazy the way yeah. everything just kind of lines up. But, mm-hmm. you know, I really in my gut feel like we I already take took Monday off from work. <laughs> um, Either to celebrate or mourn. To celebrate. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? I want you to keep doing that because every time that you have drugged my team like this, dragged, I'm sorry, my team like this, they have pulled off the win. So, you know what? I welcome they the did? negative. Yes, I want you to welcome. Every time you have like been like, persistently dragging them, not just saying that they're going to lose, but when you just really, really go all out. They I have didn't won. drag them so this time, I, though. I welcome the negative vibes. But here. I didn't But I didn't drag them. I told the truth. It's going to come down to coaching and who's going to contain Kels. But like, like John said, the teams are very evenly matched. So if I was going to pick the coach, Andy's the better coach. Quarterback, of course he is. Mahomes better Mahomes quarterback. Better quarterback. Right. Offensive weapons. Now you're going to the Eagles. Like they did the top twenty um, players in the game, and I think the Eagles had like three of the top ten. So most of the better players are on the Eagles. The Eagles are, have better health. So it's just it's going to come down to Jalen. Jalen and the moment is the moment going to be too big, and it hasn't been too big yet. You know, he's mm-hmm. played he's played well enough in all the games. But also, too, he hasn't really needed to do much. They smashed the Giants, right? Giants came in and they barely got that little seven they got. And then mm-hmm. Brock Purdy, defense got after him, tried to shove his elbow in his shoulder. So, you know, that's another thing, too. That defense is going to come out playing nasty. You got Fletcher Cox, you got Dominican Sue, who's already beat. Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. And I feel I'm getting similar vibes to that one to, to win the, the, the 31 9. When the Bucks beat the mm-hmm. Chiefs, because yeah. that defensive line was what kept Patrick running around all day. Now he, he has a better defense offensive line, but I think that defensive line is going to eat that Chiefs offensive line alive. Now, like you said, Ron, Kelsey going to be eaten in the middle, and how can they stop that? The weakness of the Eagles' defense is their linebackers. So they got a good – they got good corners, good defensive line. The linebackers are eh, you know. So we'll see. I'm looking forward to the game. Me too. Yeah, we all agree it's going to be a good one, and we we think it's going to be a good one. I'm going to switch to something else real quick. The script says that the Eagles win 37-34. I saw that. I saw <laughs> That's that. what the script says. And most of the – did y'all see the one that I sent – did I send y'all that one about Jerry so, Jones? <laughs> so let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. When we win, are you going to apologize to me? Apologize to you for what? For dragging my team. I didn't drag your team. What did I say bad about your team? <sighs> anyway, Dwayne John. Mm-hmm. There we go. And there you have it. How we, how we, have we heard anything else about the Super Bowl halftime show? How we feel Who about cares? that? Who cares? She can't sing. She can't Ooh. sing. She's I terrible. love, I love. What about the entertainment value of it? Is it, is this just going to be her? Or have they said like she's going to be with I someone think her, else? Her, her baby's father is going to perform as oh, well. Hell no. I can't name one song of his. Your sad so piece I, will probably get up there and perform with her. He's not, he's not a, he's not a, Sean Carter. He's, a, he's an so international he's, superstar. He's not. Right, sir. Yeah, nobody knows Rocky ASAP. The one song that he had that was probably the thing is Drake song. ASAP Rocky. <laughs> I no Rocky ASAP. He said Rocky ASAP. The one song I'm thinking he, about. That leave he's got my Carters he's alone, alone please. Anyway. You think it's, you think it's, uh, everybody think that's Drake song. I love that. Well, two right, chains and Drake. Song. You forget Rocky's on there. <laughs> I can't name one song of his for That's real. That's the only one I, I know that, that Rock just said. <laughs> That's the only one I know. I can't um, name one song of his. Like I was sitting there like, what does he what does he do? Like what's 
I'm Besides sure, being Rihanna's baby daddy, like what does he do? I'm sure that with you know Jay Z's over the halftime, and she's a rock nation um, artist. They will they'll make sure it's a spectacle. I'm sure of it. Yeah, well, I'm sure of it. Oh, I'll, I'll stick around and I'll stick around and watch a little bit of it because I want to see what she's gonna do. Didn't y'all she, mention great Drake? And now it's stuck in my head, like. <laughs> Drake, he doesn't that, want to be on the same stage with her. No, but that that yeah. clip where DMX said he didn't like Drake is now stuck in my head because <laughs> he's like, I don't like that dude. Yeah, mm. I'm sorry. Yeah, all right, but so that's, uh, that's yeah, pretty much. I'm I'm not looking forward to the halftime show. So let's let's okay. So Steph's obviously taking her Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles. John, Eagles. Hater, hater extraordinaire. Skip Harder. You already know. Look at his shirt. He wore that shirt on purpose. You've had two weeks to, to, to figure out who you're going to I just think that's coincidental. No, he wore that shirt on purpose, John. Stop taking up for him. It is coincidental, John. Thank you. This shirt was picked early this morning and with my mind not even on this show today. So thank you, John. I appreciate that. Um, This shirt you was know, coincidental, too. I guess I'm gonna have to go with what the script says because it said 37, 34, Eagles. I think the refs have it already called for the Eagles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, Steph. He if it was a fair game, game yeah, I think he want to give you. He only he he's preempted Eagles winning with shit. You know, he, he mm-hmm. the script says. So it's no fair. Do you and really think if it was a real script that it would have gotten out so easily like that? I think sometimes things fall through the crack and because of how most things get dismissed, um, i.e. Orlando Jordan and not Orlando, what's his name? Is it Jordan? When people say stuff and it's like, oh, they're crazy or, oh, yeah, right, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, it gets dismissed easily. I'm not going to say that everything is a script, but I wouldn't be surprised. But um, I, I think Eagles will pull it out. I think they will pull it out. Now, my family because and friends. So we're um, all picking aren't, the Eagles. Yeah, my family and friends <laughs> should Philadelphia win. They're not looking forward to it because they said last time I was completely unbearable for yeah, like we're gonna six have to months. Meet Steph, we're not going to have her on the next show. No, nah, I want to see it. All um, those things it. because it's um, just. Keith, I was not that bad. Don't, un- don't start. Freaking I bearable. I was not that bad. The only I don't thing know I did which was I didn't every wanna... time. I text people. I started and ended the text with trophies. That's the. I don't only know thing. what which I, what I didn't want to have happen first. Uh, Beyonce winning album of the year. Or, uh, this guy, these guys winning the Super Bowl. Well, if I was living on a ledge, just push me off. Why do you do me like this, friend? <laughs> the Eagles, you treat me like my name that. is. Ugh, won't go there. Oh my gosh. Get used to it because the Eagles gonna come back in the next. They're gonna come back. They're gonna be good for a couple of years. <laughs> Excuse me. They're good for a while, actually. Yeah, they are you stuck. Know, it seems yeah, they're like they're, they're not. They don't give a shit. They're running the organization really well. They don't care about spending mm-hmm. money. Jalen's still on his rookie contract, which they probably need to fix next year before because he wins this game. The bill going up. You know what I'm saying? Well, Rain Dakota said he's coming for his title next season. So what title? Mm-hmm. What title? NFC yeah. cha- NFC champion and Super Bowl champion. That's what he Steph, said. Steph, why you even bring that up? Chucky's Campbell Soup champion. Because I'm just why you just telling we, you what he said. We why why you ain't came for nothing in in when when you 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 might get traded, bro. I love it when my jokes fly. You might not be a cowboy. Uh, I heard you. Huh? What's I say? I heard John. He said Chunky Soup Champion. That's all McNabb was. Oh. Look, man, the Cowboys mm. ain't finna win nothing. I, you, just, you, got me you know, why why we're why we're talking about this on this sports show? And I'm not asking this question just because they're the enemy and Satan's disciples. But why do you think the Cowboys fold the way they do year after year after year after year? I mean, did Lil B get a hold of them? Like, does he have a beef with them? Like, what's what's that deal? Because, you know, I put everything on Lil B, the base guy. 
Ron, you 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 always say it's the owner. Mm-hmm. Is it Jerry? And I'll oh, piggyback, yeah. I'll piggyback on that. Like if you look at the past few winners of the Super Bowl, they have some homegrown talent, and then they go get somebody who they know is really good. Mm-hmm. The Dallas is Dallas Cowboys are not doing that. They want to do it all homegrown talent, right? And that's not good enough nowadays. The, the games is too the game is too hard. And He's Jerry a, has no good. business being anybody's general manager. Like, think about the last two, the last let's 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 do okay, them dirty Rams last year. They went and got Stafford, they went and got Von Miller, they added OBJ, they added um Ramsey. Ramsey came from 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 Jacksonville a few years earlier. The only person this one of their superstar that was homegrown is Aaron Donald. Okay, let's go back. Bucks. Tom Brady fell in our lap. Yes, but we also went and got Leonard. Um, who else did we sign? Nama Kinsu. Um, Who else? Who else? Who else? I can't even remember off the top of my But you see what I'm getting at? Jerry don't make those kind of moves. Now you got the Eagles in the Super Bowl. It's, it's the too Eagles damn centralized. Start, wait, go ahead, John. No, it's too damn centralized. Right. Delegation is a great thing. Allow your GM to do what a GM's supposed to do. Right. You, know, you can focus on the things that what Jerry is good at is making that franchise valuable. But when it's too centralized, that means um, there's going to be a log jam somewhere or a disconnect. And there's no, and, there's no, there's no back and forth with someone who's giving you ideas and telling you no as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so, he needs to hire somebody who has the authority in in GM and and talent acquisition and rating players and acquiring those players that fit a particular system that they run. And he has not been able to pull him safe away from doing that. The only thing I've seen him do is stay up in that damn uh, skybox. <laughs> he he comes down sometimes. Remember, he came down on the field of fake Neil. Oh, yeah, I, that was an I must have missed that. But, but the Eagles, you went out and got A.J. Brown. You got Slay from Detroit. You, you've, you've, you've been building a team. Like, all your draft picks are not going to work out, Right. So even even and Dallas literally gave us Devontae Smith. Gave you Devontae Smith, and also you dra- you made a leap and drafted Jalen. You didn't really need Jalen. I think Eagles fans were mad when you took Jalen because you we still were had Carson. Like this is supposed to be Carson. Because I remember when we drafted Jalen, I was highly upset. I'm like, for what? Right, because you had Doug Carson. Saw something you thought Carson was going to be the guy, right? Carson, listen, he has not bounced back from that knee injury. He has not been the same at all. I think it's more than a knee injury. I, I think it was that Super Bowl like, that he was didn't cl- he was able to close because he wasn't there. It was a mental thing after mm-hmm. after that knee injury. And, yeah, he, he got us, you know – far in that season but after he never he was not the same after that right but they are they it's it's been reported that he's just not a great leader anyway no you know he doesn't want to be there he, he right. wants to be on a farm with his wife and child and- <laughs> so you you know you drafted Jalen like you you just the Eagles have just been aggressive all the teams that have won the Super Bowl and I don't go back like four or five years have been aggressive teams and Jerry's not aggressive, you know. <laughs> and another thing, too, I was really upset when a year or two removed from winning a Super Bowl, we got rid of Doug Peterson. I was upset yeah. about that. I yeah. was not sold on Nick Sirianni. But now no. Sirianni is our guy. Yeah, he's your guy. He's a good I coach. Still, I still put it more. And I think he puts hits on people on the side, though. Just. He doesn't he look like he has a hitman on he look, he got mom on times. payroll. Yeah. He looks affiliated. He does. And the la- the fact that his last name is Sirianni does not help. <laughs> yeah, it, um the Cowboys uh, it sounds bad. But I'm going to just it. say it. <laughs> Until Jerry passes away, they will never get over the hump that they're they've been at for the past 20 something years. Um, he never made good with the other Jerry that brought um, value to the Cowboys to begin with. Mm-hmm. And that's he I think that um, coach. Um, oh, God, what's his last name? Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy right. Johnson so I don't know why I called him man Jerry. Jimmy Johnson bought the value to the Cowboys. I mean, and that's raised where the, the, cur- the curse might be, Steph. That's <laughs> where it is. Yeah. Johnson, I yeah. think I mentioned that last year on the show, that it's the curse of, you know, 
what he's done to Jimmy Johnson. And I think that also, if he could just be an owner instead of trying to be a GM and a coach, head coach, because he, you put the head coach in a position to where the players don't respect them. True. Because Jerry's going to have the last say. That's how it was with Garrett. They had no respect for Garrett. It's with every coach. And it was all his Jimmy. Jimmy and, pa- and Barry. Parcells, Parcells too. But Parcells yeah. didn't last long. But Jimmy, you know what? Bill, and, and Barry. Those are the three coaches that, and especially Jimmy, because he wanted the fame that went with winning those championships back to back. And Jimmy wasn't going to give it to him because it was Jimmy's team. So I, I think, unfortunately, until he so, leaves this earth. The Cowboys are going to be in the same position year after year. My so Jerry never put him in the circle of honor? No, I don't think no. they did it yet. They Mm-mm. talked about it, but I think they still did, haven't done it. Mm-mm. I got to double they check haven't. that. Um, My friend haven't. Al says that about Jerry all the time too, Keith, and he's a diehard Cowboys fan, but he was mm-hmm. like, he won't cheer for them again until Jerry dies. Mm. So why? Well, I said Jerry might outlive all of us. I just us. had a terrible visual. Amen. I just had a terrible visual. Jerry's oh, going to be around until 2050. He's going to live long, man. too. You're right, John. He's going to live long as hell. Yeah. Just to spite everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. Devils usually do. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Um, that's it. That's all we got on the Super Bowl. Hoping for a good game. Enjoy your snacks, Yay. your wings, and, and any foods we're going to make. I'm going to be too nervous to eat. Too nervous I'm, to eat. I normally fall asleep during the Super Bowl, so we'll see. If I'm even <laughs> up. <laughs> if I ain't doing something else. But y'all know, I'm going to behave this time because when we won in, uh, you know, five years ago, I literally ran outside and fell down into a puddle of ra- water because it was raining and like Mute rolled yourself. around on the ground. Mute yourself, uh, John, for the week. I will do the same. No, you won't. I, Keith, I was not that bad. I'm going to stay off of social media for a week. I was no, not that bad. I, I like I'm doing social I, I media cleans. I, 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 like I, like I saw she was throwing shade after after Dallas. After Dallas got the ass handed to him. So, I don't know. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Look at her. She getting ready already. Look at the day. Get ready. Wow. I, I have wore Philadelphia Eagles gear to work every day this week. Get, oh, get boy. The, get the memes fired up. Mm-hmm. Get them ready. Ready for those trophy emojis every time I text y'all. Yeah. So we were talking about the NFL script, right? And mm-hmm. like the Eagles win. Well, the NBA script went off this week. <laughs> and, um, Listen, can I don't I know, just, man. Can I just say, because you but, know that KD trade happened at like one in the morning. So when I got the alert about it, I sat up in the bed and I was like looking around in the dark for like 10 minutes. Like, what? <laughs> um, I know people kept saying there was a possibility that he was going to get traded. I did not think they were going to do it. Because it was hush hush because because the last thing we did the show, what, Thursday and um, Kyrie asked for his trade, what, Friday? Kyrie asked for his trade Friday and by Sunday he was gone. So... Mm-hmm. Thought was well, Kevin's gonna stay because he's the one that's worth the most. He he has three years on the deal, and he's Kevin Durant. So I'm gonna keep him, you know. And he never he asked for a trade this summer, but I didn't see this coming at all. Matter of fact, I didn't even see them trading Kyrie because I wouldn't have traded Kyrie neither. But this is more than just a basketball thing. This is something to do with them and the owner. That owner is, well, he's an ass. But, you know, I like Kyrie, but Kyrie did the same thing in Boston. Yeah, yeah, you can't trust him. And he's going to do the same <laughs> thing with the in Mavericks. Dallas. Mm-hmm. He's going to tell him, yeah, I'll stay if you want me. You he's know, gonna ask, No, he's going to ask to, because see, remember when he asked to leave Boston, he got to Brooklyn. Remember, he disappeared for a little while. He's mm-hmm. going to pull some, and I love Kyrie, don't get me wrong. He's going to pull some type of a stunt in Dallas, and then he's going to ask to leave. Mm. I don't he think he's going to pull a stunt. I think he's just going to leave because he's a free agent after this. I think he's going to he's going to be a good soldier, play all the games that he can, as long as he doesn't get hurt, 
don't re-sign with them. And then he, as a free agent, he can go wherever he wants. And word is that he wants to go to the Lakers. But can I tell you what my thought is about Kyrie Irving? Go ahead. Um, I don't think Kyrie wants to play ball at all. This is just my thought. This is just my my opinion. I don't think he wants to play ball at all. Hmm. I think it's about the money and not in a greedy, I want to be rich way. I think it's in a way like I want to keep income coming in so I will have that money to help people because that's his thing. He's a great philanthropist. Like he just wants to help. He wants to, you know just be a kind human. So I don't think he wants to play ball. I just think he wants to have the resources to continue helping people. That's just my thought. I could that's be wrong. A, that's not a bad thought though. That's not a bad thought. Cause you're right. He does give a lot away of his money and this is the way you can make most, most, the most and money. And he's taking care of his whole family. So. Right. This is the skill you have, you know, mm-hmm. so. I, I really do not believe in my heart of hearts that he wants to play ball anymore. Mm. He just has this look on his face like he doesn't want to be there all the time. I think mm-hmm. he's tired of the the establishment mm-hmm. of the NBA and basketball and the owners. Like, I'm going to go back to Joe's side. Bro, your hands ain't clean, man. Mm-hmm. You don't have clean hands, sir. But here you are judging Kyrie, and he wanted to go to the Lakers, and you decided to send him. You told them, you told them, send them everywhere, anywhere but the Lakers, mm-hmm. you know, and, and we know if you want to look it up, look up Joe Sy's dealings with China and all that stuff. But you're not a great person. You don't help people. Kyrie helps people. Kyrie gives money away. Like, and like you said, he does help most of his family. His stepmom is his agent. You know, he has so. like. Good heart. Like I am I admire him so much. I think sometimes he's 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 misguided, but I think so, this is this is gonna go into <laughs> this is gonna go. I'm about to say something about the 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 episode you guys had this week. Check it out every Tuesday. Short desk podcast. I'm on the t-shirt. Anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway I need to get a shirt. Which what mm. what you I think a lot of black men go through this. You search for your history. You search for your place in the world. And you, you, you have to go back and see where you come from. And sometimes you get angry and sometimes you learn things and it, it, it makes mm-hmm. you emotional. The problem is Kyrie has a platform million of followers and he's doing it in, in live time. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I think is happening. But I think I agree with you, Steph. He's a great human being. Like he's done more for people than a lot of these owners do. And he's not a billionaire. Mm-hmm. He just makes a couple million dollars playing basketball. I think he would be content with a little hut out in the woods <laughs> with some goats and pigs and just freely living his life. He's such a free like he just wants to be free. If that you makes sense. Me, so. You make me think of Ricky Williams when you say that. Another nice Is he human raising being. goats? No, but another oh. nice human being who was misunderstood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where is he now? He um he's running a podcast. Of course, he has a cannabis business. He has a cannabis um, company, right? Didn't he just get into some trouble recently? Not that I know of. I thought Ricky Williams was in the news recently. No. There was Why something a couple of years ago. Um I don't remember. I'll take a look, though. I don't know if you but saw know he became something. a grandfather. I think that's the last thing I saw this week. He became a grandfather. Grand? Oh. Yeah, grandfather. How old is he? He can't be older than us, much older no, than us. No if judgment. He's older than 45. No judge. He's 45. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sounds about right. Why is yeah, his name? Why did he say Eric was, Mira? Was yeah, weird. he did change his name. Maybe that's what I remember ta- um, seeing. Oh, well, he was born Eric Williams Jr. Mm-hmm. In San Diego. Weird. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he born in San Diego, raised in San Diego. I went to f- play football in Texas. Okay. Um, but I thought yeah. something happened to him recently. Mm. Mm. No. Oh, no. But uh, the, so, so the all right, Kyrie went to Dallas, KD to the mm-hmm. Suns. Mm-hmm. Um, Russ got traded as well from your Lakers. Lakers fans were happy about that. 
Yeah, but they sent him to Utah. They didn't have to do him like that. They did. <laughs> I don't know if you've known his history with Utah fans. I think they're gonna isn't aren't they gonna buy out his contract? I don't know if Utah's gonna do that. Mm. I mean, there's only after the after the, the, the all-star break, there's gonna I guess now they could do it because less than half the games are left left, but mm-hmm. the Lakers made a lot of moves. Um they got D'Angelo from Minnesota. They got they got Mo Bamba from us. Ooh. I don't think they were happy about Peyton going back, uh, going to the Warriors. No, no. I mean, the whole West got got much better mm-hmm. trade deadline. It's ridiculous how good everybody went over there. KD went over. Like you said, Peyton went back to the Warriors from the Blazers. The Blazers made some other moves to get some other players. Um, Malik, Malik Beasley's going to be playing with his ex-girlfriend, son. Oh, God. Did y'all speaking of y'all? This is so speaking of the West, and because you know King Flopper got his big achievement the other night. Oh yeah, we got to talk did about that too. Why you gotta say it like that, Steph? Did y'all see the picture where they had LeBron's family and they had Delonte West photoshopped beside his mama? <laughs> I see that. I missed that one. This is supposed to be a great achievement, okay? Ugh. Well, I'll let Keith talk about that since it's his team. Okay, okay, okay. Before we talk about that, can we can we like just speak about it without without y'all hate involved? Can well, we? I'm, I'll mute my mic. Oh my god, my mic my mic is mute. Oh my god. No, but you have to talk about it because it's your team. The Lakers are not my team. They haven't been oh, my yeah, team you, for a while. Oh, yeah, you suspended them. I forgot. You suspended mm-hmm. them until King Flopper leaves. I got it. You and my girl, shout out to Frederica because she listens. She watches. She's the same thing. Like, she's on strike from the Lakers until King Flopper leaves. And I don't know who dislikes him more, her or Keith. So. Go ahead, Dwayne. Give him his props. Yeah, go ahead. Y'all just shit it on the whole moment. Just. <laughs> What's going on? John said he can't see or hear anything. Really? We can see you. We see you, John. Yep. Anywho. Yeah, go ahead. So you guys don't think it's a great achievement? Yeah, he played 20 years. Um, Hell, if... You played 20 years straight out of college and came out the way he did, of course. I'm, I, I'm not taking that any way. Do, do I think that it's a great achievement? Sure, sure. But I don't like that he's calling himself the GOAT. He's, he's always that done that. Years. He's been he's doing that for years. I don't like that. Goat. The, that the, goat, the greatest to ever play the game never wore a Lakers uniform. He wore a Chicago Bulls uniform and he wore a Washington Wizards uniform. Exactly. The go conversation um, is subjective. But there's like, no comparison, none. But did you, did you guys ever thought he would do it, or anyone would do it? Matter of fact, like I, I, I thought he would. You, you thought he, he would? Yeah, for me. And again, at this what is point come did off you? As a, at what point did you think LeBron was going to be the all time leading scorer in the NBA? Well, you're going to say this is a hating moment, but this isn't a hating moment. This is just my observation. LeBron is a is a um, stats patter. He is. He is very much concerned with padding his stats. And the way that he's always played, his mission was to be put himself in positions to be the best and not through just being the best and letting it speak for him on the court, but by doing things to put himself in a position. Like being on certain teams, um, going to certain recruiting, organizations, recruiting, going and, to certain organizations like the Lakers. Correct, he, and he's like the Jerry Jones of the NBA. He has always padded his stats. You're going to see, no matter what type of position that his team is in, um, or where they're going, he wants to make sure that he has a great night statistically you've never seen I've never seen in all of the years that LeBron has played have a bad night of stats no matter how bad his team is Mm -hmm. no matter 
what's on the line. You can, and again, gonna call this hating, but if 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 I'm looking at and, and these three always get compared, Michael, LeBron, and Kobe. If the Bulls are the uh, OG Lakers are losing, you're going to see Kobe. Kobe and Michael will probably have a, a a 15 for 47 shooting night because they're going to do everything in their power to win that game. LeBron, if they're down 20, LeBron's going to have a – if he's on the way to a triple-double, he's going to do everything in his power to get that triple-double. That's just what I have seen from him for the past 20 years. So I was not surprised that he won the scoring title. Um, and he, what I was shocked about was the breakdown that I saw with the scoring title and how many uh, points he got from three-pointers and the um, free throw line. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect to see that much, but – yeah, I'm, I'm not shocked. I, I knew it was going to happen because I, I knew he was he. LeBron is going to play for about I guess probably the next the right five word. years. I guess, shock not, shock, I guess shock is not the right word to ask, but like mm-hmm. I knew he was going to do it. Okay, I knew okay. Was, yeah, I knew he was going to do it because of he played long how enough. He, he's played. He's played. Jordan played 14 years. Right. So that wasn't going to happen. And Jordan, honestly, I don't think he was not concerned a, about being the, the leader. Well. He wasn't. Correct. He, Jordan Jordan I don't think lo- he was concerned Jordan about that. Jordan loved the game. LeBron Correct. loves the fame. Yes. I mean, he loves go. the game too, though. LeBron is the P. Diddy of the NBA. Oh, yes. God. Yes. And, and, and that's not hating take on that, him. Take that. You, you have to just it's look at me, it. It's hard for me to, like, say he's not the P. Diddy of basketball because <laughs> – <laughs> he just traded half his team. He does you that know. all the time. And not he's only that, not only team. that, for a long time, for a long time, it seemed like I would wake up every morning and look on Twitter or something, and they would have some weird stat about LeBron. I'm like, are y'all making these things up now? Because it was, <laughs> it got to the point where it was sounding ridiculous, y'all. And every morning, LeBron becomes the first or the leading of it. And I'm like, yeah. If they tell me this is the first man to just wear yellow socks in six different games, I wouldn't be surprised because that's how ridiculous it got. Yeah. But and I'm not gonna he, take anything away from his game. No. He's a great player. Um, I think mm-hmm. when it's all said and done, he will be he should be a top ten player. I feel personally that they rate him a little bit too high because I grew up in an era, and that's going from the eighties up until the two twenty tens where losing did not make you a great, not like that. And so it made you a great how you played, but it never put you above people that played at that level or higher than you and also won. Right. And we are in an era where winning doesn't mean anything because they like to toss out the second and third place. People get trophies too. So again, I'm not going to take anything away from him. Cause like I said, I think he's an all time great. I knew he would get the scoring title. I think that, honestly, he's going to keep playing because of who he is to make sure that that scoring title is out of reach as much oh, as possible. And, he's gonna, he's gonna, and so he can play with his son. So he he's gonna, definitely he going to keep you, you, you talking about you're not, you, you not a Lakers fan until he leaves. Well, you might as well buckle up, buddy. Cause he's gonna be there for another three years at least. No, he's not gonna. No, he's not gonna be there because after this season, um, somebody else is gonna catch the blame, and probably mid season, they're gonna be in the same position. Somebody's gonna catch the blame, and he's out of there. On to the next no, destination. I, I, don't, I don't think he's gonna leave because if 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 it was a different situation, yes. If it was a different place, yes. If it was Cleveland, yes, he would leave. If it was Miami, he would leave. But this is the Lakers. He wants to be out there. He out there. But don't you see? Don't don't you you see? Let me see, let me say this. Let me say this, and y'all are gonna right, disagree so. with what I gotta say. Y'all are gonna heavily disagree. If there were never any Kobe Bryant, LeBron would have never gone to pay, play for the Lakers. And I say this because I believe it was that. All, and and this is somebody who was not a huge fan of Kobe. Well, not a fan of Kobe Bryant at all, but. Mm-hmm. It's like he was always in Kobe's shadow. He wanted to be Kobe. If it was not for Kobe Bryant, LeBron, because he was like, I always wanted to be a Laker. You always want to be a Laker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LeBron never wanted to be a Laker. He wanted to be Kobe. Mm. If there uh-huh. were no Kobe Bryant, 
he would be right in Cleveland, still playing ball in Cleveland. I promise you. Well, the one time him and Kobe were supposed to match up in the finals, he couldn't beat the Magic. So I had to get that in there. <laughs> so that never happened. But, like, <clears throat> I don't think he's going to leave the Lakers because of what it means to his life after basketball. So I think he's going to stay there because he get out. He wants to be branded as the greatest Laker of all time. That's why he I don't know about that. I just know that he wants to make movies. He wants to. He's in L.A. Horrible. I I hope he he doesn't do that again. I don't care what he do. He ain't going to be the greatest Laker of all time. No. I'm saying I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm saying what he, he wants. wants. That. He yeah, wants. What he that. wants. He now, wants that. Now LeBron and you talk about him making movies. Now I will I will say as far as the production piece of what he's done, I don't know if y'all ever checked out that uh, show Survivor's Remorse. That was a masterpiece. He did a great job with that. He does he a killed good all job goodwill with, with House Party. Yeah, like he he's, <laughs> he's good with the movies and stuff if he stays out of them. Cause I didn't watch Space Jam, uh, but I, I don't either. want I if his son goes into the league, I don't want his dad to be a constant shadow over him. I want him to grow into his own person and to have his own lane and his own fans. I don't want his dad to always be like boom in his face, just you know. And LeBron is that type. He doesn't want no. his son to shine because he wants all of the light for himself. I don't know He's about that selfish. because if he, if if he wanted his son out of his shadow, he wouldn't have called him LeBron Jr. So, I mean, yeah, you know, I, no, I tell I'm you not, what. no, no, no. I'm not saying he wants his son out of his shadow. He he wants his son like you know. Oh, you know, this is my son instead of just calling him Bronny. You know it's what I'm just, saying? So it's very it's very. I think move out of son way, but go ahead, go ahead, Ron. I think that again, I and, and I've talked about this before. I respect what he does, you know, as far as making his own moves and stuff, because a lot of times people always blame the players when they leave a team or don't resign or something like that, but are silent when the owner will trade them to make a better deal for the team. And so he's kind of controlled his destiny. Well, not kind of, he has controlled his own destiny and I, and Mm -hmm. I respect him for that, but I just, I don't feel anything for me. I'm a feel guy and I don't feel anything when I watch him play um, Mm -hmm. because I feel like it's just, I'm playing, he's playing for a different purpose and I just don't feel it. I've never have. And like, again, respect to his talent. He's a great player. He's going to be, you know, when it's all said and done, of course he should be all time great. But I think that in the search for someone to overthrow the legacy of Michael Jordan, I think that they went a little bit overboard with a guy of LeBron's stature. And in my opinion, I think they just went a little bit overboard. I and I would say the same thing too. You know, I'm a the one of the biggest Kobe fans. Kobe couldn't he he was he was he was forever chasing Jordan. I, I and mm-hmm. I think he kind of just gave up after towards the end there all of the injuries caught up to him finally but it's just and and we will see someone that will come and overtake jordan hopefully before we leave this earth but that's all that it's the media creating that person and then immediately that person going yes i am the best ever bruh and you, poor Ron, you, he's you, still competing with a deceased man. You got, you got, you, you've had, you've had Hall of Fame players surrounding you, your career. You know more than two Hall of Fame players surrounding your career, your whole career, pretty much. And you know it, the results still didn't produce in your favor. It's like, okay, man, be a little bit humble about, you know, what you've been able to achieve and and the help that you've had with it. You know what I mean? Like you've had some. Serious ass help, and then at the end of the day, you got somebody named Steph Curry that's going to end up with more rings than you. So, you know, be a little bit more humble with that because during Jordan's era, nobody could say they ended up with more <laughs> rings than him. You know, uh, even when he took the two year break, uh, two and almost two year break. You know, but I'm trying just to be a little bit. And I hate when people want. Steph already got four, right? 
Steph already got four because yeah. he won one. He's got four. By, he won one without KD, two with KD, and then they just won last year. Steph has four. They got. He's got four. Yeah, got and four. I don't like when people use rings to you know to to measure that goat conversation. I agree you know, with that, Steph. They always leave Bill Russell out. He got eleven, man. That's why. That's why the goat the goat conversation is so. It, oh, to me, he the has a new document. There's a new documentary about Bill on Netflix too, so check it out. To me, the goat conversation to comes down to, like you said, Ron. What did you feel when you watched this person play basketball or any sport? Like to mm-hmm. me, when you watch, I'm thinking about it now. When you watch Michael and Kobe, them dudes lived on every basket. You could see it mm-hmm. on their face if they mm-hmm. were mad, if they were happy. Like you can't. Steph is kind of the same way, too. They play basketball with emotion. Mm-hmm. LeBron doesn't really play with a lot of emotion. Because um, he's Hollywood. Um, he's looking for that next rebound. And, but, and one more but, thing, and I'm sorry, Dwayne. No, it's fine. Go ahead. A big difference, too, to go, and I know this may look, again, as hating, but, bruh, you blow on somebody these day, these last 15 years, that's a foul. They all, they all do it. It's, <laughs> you know, so it, it, it's like a free range ball. to like score at, bro, you got, they, there's not even really any true centers anymore. So it's a totally different game. And I get that. But when you're used to it's not hate, watching it's not it, hating though. It's the yeah. truth. It's not hating. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it's easier now to get buckets than it was it's, it's 15, that's, 15 that's, 20 years ago. That's the, that's the product of the establishment. Scoring is much more it's more palatable for the fans like mm-hmm. don't nobody want to see <laughs> the Knicks versus the Pacers <laughs> 79 to 90 and somebody that got shit a black was eye. excited though bro because you know <laughs> you knew that there was about to be a Royal Rumble somewhere because <laughs> you dunk on somebody wrong they don't even allow you to you, you got to release that 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 release the rim within like a quarter of a second if there's you such a thing. You can't show any emotions now. Like even right. if like if you dunk and you just scream too loud, hey, stop that. You know you gonna get a intimidating. That's that's intimidating. Yeah. A technical. Get out of here. We can't do that. And it's just like again, I, and I guess that's why I can't get into the sport anymore mm-hmm. because of some of those things. But again, I he he's going to go down as an all time great, and congratulations! And I know the only the only thing that made me smile about seeing and hearing about that whole thing was hating ass Kareem having to give him props. Kareem is a hater, and I'm not saying that as a Kareem selfish is a thing. Hater. Kareem is a hater. Like he's not he's not Isaiah Thomas level hater. But he's a uh, Scotty he Pippen be, level hater, but he's He may be past Isaiah, man. Kareem don't like so? nobody. Kareem just apologized Kareem. to Shaq for 30 years of hating on that man and didn't even play in the same time as him. Kareem <laughs> don't like Kareem, but oh, I don't man. think he's Isaiah Thomas bad because if <laughs> Isaiah Thomas sees Michael Jordan on the street, they gonna square up. Oh, God. <laughs> Isaiah, Isaiah, a whole geriatric Isaiah fight. Is still hot about that because he just did an interview uh-huh. with, with another pod, a podcast I listened to, and he mm-hmm. was talking about that shit. I'm like, damn, bro, that's still still eating at you, cause like as he should be, man. The dream team was a moment in time that we would never oh, see another team part, like that. That's not the part he was mad. At. Well, he I mean, he's still mad about that, but he was, <laughs> he's still mad about that. He, he was mad about the documentary. He was mm-hmm. mad about yeah, the yeah. documentary. He yeah. was like, he brought all that hell? stuff back up. He was like, how the hell somebody, we're showing a 10 part documentary of somebody being an asshole calling people <laughs> assholes. Hey, <laughs> that's who he was. But they knew when that. You, when you are the GOAT, you can do that. You can do that. But it. Right. Th- right. Thank you, John. And, I, and you know, for me, it's like you look at the dream team and you're like, wait a minute. Why the hell isn't Isaiah Thomas up on that poster? You know what I'm saying? Like, that make no sense. So, yeah, but Kareem was he could he could act like oh I'm so grateful and everything. Kareem inside was probably dying, bro. He, he's, he he has had that record for forty something years, man. 
And mm-hmm. even in the, in the 40-something, every time there would something happen in the NBA, they would drag his old ass out there because oh, yeah. of that record. Now he's oh, I know he was I know he was getting scared, especially when Kobe really like run on a rampage when he didn't have nobody on the team and he was like mm. scoring, you know, without <laughs> care. I know he started getting scared. Then that 81 point game happened, but and then we forget about the the uh, rapist, the child molesters up there too. We always skip over him. Hey, he num- he's number, number three, two. right? He's number two. Yeah. How the hell did he well, score? He's three, now. Point? he's three now. He's three what, now. Wait, what rapist? Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Oh you yeah, know? yeah. He's yeah. three now. Carl, yeah. yeah. If you guys don't know the story, how did he, how did he get that up? high? Uh, just play. He played for forever in Utah. He only played one mm-hmm. year with the Lakers, but he played forever in Utah, bro. Oh, we forget his his career was long as shit because he never got hurt. That's the same true. He didn't. Like the first time he got hurt was when he went to the Lakers. Right, he hurt his knee, and you would think other people would gotten close, and that's why I think the achievement is so great because Mm -hmm. you could you're gonna get most dudes are gonna get hurt. Kobe, Mm -hmm. how many times Kobe got hurt? Kobe Shit. missed so many games. Like anybody else you thought that was going to come along and play for that long. Mm, them last five years, bro. Right. You could play for long, but. Man, he was done. They're going to. LeBron has never missed a whole year. He's never. He's no. missed a couple. He's missed maybe like the most. You can avoid injury when you fly. Oh, come on, Steph. And if you train on Namek. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's 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 been he's been gifted with the with a great great body, but he takes care of it as well. But um, hey, you shouldn't in this league now, the way that it's played, injuries shouldn't happen. Somebody made that statement, and I think it was relating to the NFL actually. But the way that both sports are played now, it's like, damn, why are people? You really shouldn't get as injured as you were before because it's no aggressive play. It's an offensive led league in both sports, so you shouldn't see too many people really getting played unless they, you know, unless they turn an ankle or something like that. You can't get really get hit in football no more. Damn near two hand touch. There you, you go. You damn but right about that, John. Too, it's it's yeah. The um, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the um, it, a, a lot of things can be tri- attributed to overtraining as well now because these guys are specialized. They got their own personal trainers. You're training all year round. Remember, like back in the day, dudes used to, like Michael Jordan era. You come into camp out of shape and you get in shape in camp. These dudes are working out. Yeah, he he did later. He did later, but a lot mm-hmm. of the guys didn't train year round. That's my point. You know what I mean? These guys are training year round now. Drinking so, beer on the side. <laughs> you know. And wings. Did right, you hear so, Lawrence tell when they said y'all don't drink beer and smoke no more in the locker room? He was getting he was on somebody podcast. He, 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 was, he was talking about beer. drinking beer and smoking back in the locker room during halftime. So y'all don't do that no more. Oh wow. <laughs> But I mean, so, it didn't matter to him. You know, he was in another world, anyways. Uh, <laughs> this, this. Oh, was he partaking in that book of sugar? Allegedly. Oh, Lawrence Taylor. Steph, he I put the he put the Cowboys team to shame. <laughs> that's the only way he came Man, out. That's of the field. impossible. That's impossible. Michael Irvin alone has sniffed uh-uh. enough cocaine Steph. to keep the Colombians in business for years. Steph, he put. Irvin, he Larry Allen, and all them the shame. We're not doing it allegedly no more. Yes, yes. Michael Irvin said that. Too. <laughs> Listen, we don't need to speak of Michael Irvin. <laughs> I mean, did, you, did y'all? I don't know if y'all saw. He got he got pulled from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, he got pulled from oh. the NFL Network coverage of the Super Bowl for allegedly. Um, misconduct with a young lady i guess in the hallway yeah. he said he had a few drinks so he doesn't remember he first he said he 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 didn't remember then he said he did talk to somebody for like a minute but he wasn't showed the video it wasn't or anything because he actually was on a podcast and it was before the news hit and he explained to them he was somewhere hiding they're like what do you mean he said well 
They told me that some young lady I talked to yesterday went to them and said I harassed her or something like that. And that's how it actually came out. So it wasn't mm-hmm. like the NFL had announced NFL Network and all them had announced it. He was on a podcast and broke the news himself that he was in yeah. hiding. So now, um, you know, who knows what happened? Who knows? He what wasn't. Happened? He wasn't drink. He wasn't drinking. I hope nothing comes of it. I hope he didn't do it. I hope this person is just overzealous. And has he ever he, had? Has he had a history of that ever? No, that, no. I don't mm-hmm. remember him getting in trouble. The only thing I ever remember like him that. doing is is cocaine. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, I'm sorry. I mean, he he he's admitted he's had a good time in his life. Yeah. But I oh, you cleaned that up him. so well. Had a good time in that snort powder. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but like, I, 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 I hope James, bitch. all this goes away. You know, hopefully, all yeah. this goes away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The only thing he didn't do was Bobby Brown some chicken. That's the only thing he didn't do. It. And Keith mm. already knows about Bobby Brown and that fried chicken. Yes, yes. But yeah, I hope everything works out where he doesn't really get himself in I mean, he should have like zero nasal cavity. Like, uh, but listen, before we get out of here, I do want to ask this question to Dwayne. There was, you know, you kind of <laughs> skimmed over it. The trade was Mo Bamba, Bimba. What's his name? Mo something for Patrick Mo Bimba. Bamba. Mo Bamba. Thoughts on that. And also thoughts on, um, which I didn't know, we had to, people had to check in with Winter Park, Seth, um, I mean, Austin Rivers, or whatever Rivers it is. Had Austin to check Rivers. in with, yeah. We had, people have to check in with Winter Park, uh, Austin Rivers before they come to Orlando. So thoughts on that fight and thoughts on the trade. That Magic was man. the dumbest, the dumbest fight. Like, I don't know if Mo, I thought Mo Bamba, before the season started, I thought Mo Bamba was going to get traded before the season started. So I don't know if he like, he saw the deadline coming up and was like, they can't fight. They can't trade me if I get suspended. Let me swing on Austin. Cause I don't know what Austin could have said to him. And he was on and, and Mo was on the bench. I can't remember the last person to come Miss off. my city bench. punk. Right. Come on. <laughs> you just, you just, you, you just, you, you just a visitor. Get out of I here. I got the annual passes to Disney. Where's your annual right. passes? <laughs> you know, so I don't I don't know what Mo could have said. What what Austin could have said to Mo for make to make him get up off the bench yeah. to fight Austin. I didn't really fight. Nobody really fights in the NBA anymore. No. Um, so they got into a little scuffle, but the magic players, they're all young. They all jumped on Austin. Austin ended up on the ground. I think Mo got four games. I don't even think it's suspensions over. Is somebody clothesline him or something? Who was that at clothesline? Mo, like, Mo is huge, by the way. He's like <laughs> seven two. He's seven two. And he hasn't gotten much better. Well, he's gotten he's he's gotten incrementally better. Not enough though. And the Magic has a logjam at at a lot of positions. And then you just this the most emotion I've ever seen from Mo Bamba, and it's when he got into a fight. You know what I'm saying? Bye, bro. Bye. And that's I don't I don't I think Pat Beverly is going to be good for the team. Cause he's a young bulldog. They need they need a veteran like him. He's a really good mm-hmm. veteran. I don't care what nobody say. You hate him when he's not on your team, but when he's on your team, you're gonna like him. I don't know. If somebody gonna... complaining about him earlier. Uh, no, was an Orlando fan who was complaining about him? Anyway. Orlando fans are probably gonna complain that he's coming here mm-hmm. because they're not gonna look at what he's gonna do for the young the young guys. He's he's a great teammate. He's gonna. He's if and that's if we keep him. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep him because they could buy him out, and he could go back to the Lakers. I think a lot of that's gonna happen. Actually, I think I think Pat get Bev might probably get bought out because we got too many guards. He's not gonna. He's not gonna get. I don't think he's gonna get minutes here anyway. So he might get bought out. Um, you know who else needs all, to get bought out? Huh? You know who else needs to get bought out? Who? The DeVos. Oh God. That's that's above my fandom. That's a 
That's above my fandom. That should be right at your fandom. I Get mean, the I, hell out of there. Yes. Oh my but, but, god! But if, the, if, if the last time we 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 heard something about the magic being sold, Shaq was talking about it. Yeah, they, they're yeah. never gonna sell the team to somebody who we want them to sell the team to. Of course not. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, look at look at the Suns owner. Like, the Suns were for sale. They sold the Suns to some some dude. Nobody. Well, you know about him if you're real estate and and all that because he's a huge mm-hmm. real estate mogul. But like, don't ever sell the team to. But then again, if they every time the, a team gets sold, sold the person who comes in is very aggressive. Mm-hmm. And they make the team better really fast, but they're not gonna sell that team, man. I think they're gonna keep the team in their family. Yeah, didn't Shaq, Shaq, and he said, you know, a couple of business owners and Dennis and Scott, Dennis. Yeah. yeah, which yeah, would but- be great. You got your historical players, you know, that were there at the height of the popularity of the team, and Shaq is one of the biggest names in the uh, NBA history, and. It, it it just makes sense, and because it makes too much sense, they're not going to do that move. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I cannot. I can't. I can't with John. Uh, well, I don't know. I think, uh, I think it, that that wasn't the the Mo Bamba trade wasn't a big deal. It, it's okay. Yeah, I wasn't a big deal. He, like I said, he was suspended anyway, and they just mm-hmm. won. Who they beat? They didn't play the Celtics. They've been beating them. But um, sorry, <laughs> they, they all um, gonna leave me the hell alone. They, 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 they just they just lost to who they, they lost to somebody. You didn't have to say it. <laughs> they lost to the Knicks. They lost to the Knicks uh, two days ago, but they. Yeah. <laughs> it, y'all want to see it like it registered. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't want to see us, man. Y'all don't want to see, see us in the playoffs. You better pray we don't make the playoffs. Everybody now. gets lucky sometimes. Mm. Three times, three times, stuff. But anyway, That's a lot of lucky. you can have your little three wins. Little three wins. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, that that trade wasn't a big deal. Like I said, it depends on what they do with Pat Be- Pat Bev. The team okay. is still really young. They could use his leadership, but I think they're gonna buy him out. Um, he's gonna get bought out. I think John Wall is gonna get bought out. Bought out, so they could return to the teams that they were on. Um, the Wizards don't want him back. I don't. Has no, John Wall been, hasn't John Wall been with the Wizards for like twenty years? Nah, he Jeez. was. See, that's yeah. <laughs> John Wall got <laughs> traded. He got traded. This is this is a whole roundabout now. John Wall got traded to the Rockets for Westbrook. Mm-hmm. And he got to the, the Rockets. He sat at the Rockets for damn near two years, and they didn't play him. And then they bought him out, and he gave back. He gave back. He even gave back more money than he needed to give back to get away from them, and got to the Clippers. And then the Clippers just traded him, traded him back to the Rockets. Mm-hmm. It's the weirdest thing. So much weird stuff just happened during this. During this, did trade. he have like a bad injury or something, and his stock went down? He or? had a bad injury with the Wizards. And his stock did go down. He tore his ACL, but he came back and he's been playing okay. And then they've complained about his attitude too. They say his attitude is the worst. Right, but the Rockets, the Rockets have been in purgatory. I can't even remember how long they've been since since James Harden left. Well, since wait, uh, maybe like a year before he left, they've been in purgatory and been trying to get better. So I always forget about them and the and the Kings. I don't know why I just do. They're forgettable. Oh man, the Kings. That's right. I the forget Kings about are actually the Kings. decent right now, though. The Kings are actually decent because they got a uh, subordinate son and this kid Fox was really good. But mm. it, it'll be interesting. It'll be an interesting final run to the playoffs. I think the mm-hmm. Magic can make the play, and they could get to number ten. Because mm-hmm. some of the teams in the East just got worse. Like the Nets just got worse. Because you gave away Kyrie and friggin' KD. You're going to get KD. your ass handed to you for the rest of the season. Pretty um, much. So I think the Magic could get to that 10th spot. And I think it's important for them 
to get to that 10 spot so they can get some playoff. Now they get the ass handed to them if they make it into the playoffs to get to the eighth seed. They're going to have to play Boston. And, yeah, we beat them three times, but playoffs are going to be different. The playoffs so, are a different story. Yeah, yeah they're going to get swept. You know. yeah, oh, trust me. They're going to get swept. So, But I think it's important to get swept because those four games will give you some experience. You know, maybe you might win one. I don't know. But yeah. I think they could get to that eight spot. Well, you got to get to the 10 spot first. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Well, Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Again, check us out every Tuesday with the OG podcast. This YouTube will drop on Thursday and this podcast version. If you don't want to see our lovely faces, will drop on Friday. So every Friday, we still like sports every Thursday, the YouTube show and every Tuesday, uh, a short <coughs> podcast. We will be back next week to see who won the Super Bowl. And here's Steph go off on about a 20 or 30 minute rant, good or bad. So we'll see how that works out next week. Thank you, guys. I'll be winning, Steph. I'll be winning because I want to hear it. I want to hear it next week. I yeah. want to hear it. I want to hear it. And I want to see it. I want to see it on Instagram. I, I want to hear what John said. Chaos. Oh, John, I'm not chaotic. Mm-hmm.